This is amazing. What if you can integrate open source large language model with Autogen user interface? What if you can integrate a large language model which is running locally on your computer with Autogen Assistant, the official user interface? That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about integrating open source large language model with Autogen UI. I'll be covering text generation web UI, light LLM or OLAMA and LM Studio. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to do this. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and stay tuned. I've already covered how to run Autogen UI step by step in another video, which I've linked that in the description below. So as a quick summary, you install using pip, pip install Autogen RA and click enter. Next, Autogen RA UI hyphen hyphen port 8081 and click enter. This will open your user interface in this URL. Now we are going to navigate to this URL. I'm inside the URL now. Here I'm creating a new session. And also in the general agent workflow, I'm going to click the settings. In that you can see the list of models in the model section. For now, I'm going to remove all these. Here is the location where you need to add our open source large language model. So for now, I'm going to keep that as empty and click OK. To set up text generation web UI, first git clone text generation web UI and navigate to that folder. Then you're going to type bash start macOS.sh hyphen hyphen API hyphen hyphen listen hyphen hyphen extensions and open AI. This will automatically enable the open AI endpoint. Now we got the open AI compatible URL here. So I'm going to copy this and go back to our Autogen UI. There I'm going to click the settings again and go to the model, click add, then going to enter the base URL slash v1 and the model name is Mistral. I'm going to add the model, click OK. Also make sure you have downloaded the Mistral large language model from this URL. That is the text generation web UI URL and choose Mistral and you should be able to click the load button and click the save settings. That's it. Now we can see the settings got saved. I've already explained how to install text generation web UI, light LLM, Olama and LM Studio in a complete different video, which I will link those videos in the description below. Now coming back to the text generation web UI, you can ask the model to list the top five rivers in Africa and their length in markdown format. To verify, you can see the log in the text generation web UI that the tokens are getting generated. This proves that Autogen UI is using local large language model through text generation web UI. Now we got the answer here, the list of rivers and the length in markdown format. This is exciting. Now you have integrated your local large language model in text generation web UI. I'm also going to show you how to integrate Olama Light LLM and also LM Studio. Let's go to Light LLM. Make sure you install Light LLM using pip install. Then download Olama from olama.ai website. Then you can download Mistral by running Olama run Mistral. This will automatically download the Mistral model. If you see a prompt like this, your Mistral model is ready to be used using Olama. Now we are going to integrate this Olama through Light LLM into our Autogen UI. So I'm going to type Light LLM. I'm adding the model name, add function, request timeout and max tokens and then click enter. Now we got our URL ready, which is this. This is serving Olama Mistral through Light LLM. I'm going to copy the URL coming back to our UI. Click the settings button again and I'm going to click this one. Here you can change that to port number 8000, the new URL which is serving from Light LLM. I'm going to click the save button. Then I'm going to click OK. Opening a new session, just going to ask the same question again. List out the top five rivers in Africa and their length. Now I can see the log from Light LLM which is linked to Olama. This confirms that Autogen UI is linked with Light LLM now and it is using Olama Mistral. Coming back to our UI, you can see the list of rivers and their length got generated by our local large language model. Finally, integrating that with LM Studio. You can download the required model by clicking the download button. Then in the server icon on the left hand side, click that button and you should be able to choose what model you want to use at the top. I've chosen Zephyr and then you can click the start server. Now in here we can see this is the URL, the light LLM serves the large language model. So I'm going to copy this URL. Going back to our Autogen UI, creating a new session and then click the settings, clicking the model and then updating the URL. I'm going to paste this one. 
and then click the save changes and click OK. Now I'm going to ask the same question again. List out the top five rivers in Africa and their length. We can see an error here. If you go back to LM Studio, it says messages array must only contain objects with the content field that is not empty. So if you see here, the content field is empty and the role is user, that's why it's not working. I'm not able to resolve this issue, but if you have found any solution, please do let me know in the comment below. But at least we can see we have integrated our light LLM with Autogen UI. We can see the river name here and the length. That's it, as simple as that. Now we have integrated our Autogen UI with light LLM, Olama, LM Studio, and text generation web UI. This is really exciting that you can run your local large language model integrated with Autogen UI. Please do let me know in the comments below what other topics you want me to cover and also if you like the video. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe and thanks for watching.